So we're going to build a static website with Netlify. Now we already did this uh, upload zip that was done in order to create the test file, but basically you have an index.zip file and you create a, an empty text file index.html in order to, to create a new site and you just drag and drop it into Netlify, which is completely fine. And we did that already. Now, once you are done, they say, well, go to your site and we are going to do just that. Let's just move out a little bit over here. All right, and we have site settings. Okay, and we have all of this uh, site details. So site details require us to have an API ID, and this is going to be API ID. Now, I'm not really concerned with exposing this because uh, this account will be deleted after I create this video, just to make a point, so don't worry. We're going to open Notepad, and we're going to paste those details over here. And I'll run this notepad somewhere here on a side. Let's make it really small. OK, now we done the API ID. Now we're going to our account settings. All right. And we have access tokens. Where do we get the sites? OK, in account, click on Oath. Where is the Oath? All right, Oath applications. And we're going to create new access token. Now we generate token and it's gonna, we let's say it's just for test. We don't care really. And we say generate token. Now it's very important copy and paste this into some place safe because you don't want anybody to go to and modify your website because right now what you see on the screen is enough to actually hijack my site. In terms of content publishing, at least, you're not getting to my Alpha Tap account over here, but I would be very, uh, it, it would be hard for me to find out that you did something to my site unless I go there every day. And this is a test website, so hijacking it even more probably. So uh, probable. So don't worry, I'm gonna delete this account. We're gonna keep it secure. But once you click or click on done, that's it. The string is gone. There is no more string. Okay, fantastic. We did that, we did that. And of course, then we can configure the Publi for Netlify. So open the Publi app. And we're going to do just that. Now, all right, yeah, it doesn't resize really well on this screen. But we're going to do and add a new website. Now, the Publi is just very simple. You just download and double click it to install it. There is nothing to do with it. Let's give our site a color and an icon. Doesn't really matter. The website is going to be test. I read. Fantastic. Now, don't mind the sound that you hear in the background from time to time. It basically, it's a spell checker that is uh, working on uh, applications that don't have an embedded spell checker, which, which is really easy. And we have another video just for that in the website. All right. And it's going to be just how we're going to create a website. Okay. And we need to go and configure our server. So in server settings, we say the domain name. And the domain name would be HTTPS test I read help files dot com. Yes, protocol it's going to be Netlify, and then it just asks for site ID, which is this string. And we have the Netlify token. And yes, so we're going to do the Netlify token over here, and we're going to test the connection, and the connection seems to be fantastic. So we save our settings. Settings successfully loaded. So we are safe to close this file. I'll just close it later. That's completely fine. And we're going to see what's going on. All right. And next section is creating your website. 